Hi guys, this is Isa from Printstick and today I want to talk to you about the pen tool in the app GoodNotes. So I have GoodNotes open here and I'm using the Color Planner version 2. I'm going to leave a link for this in the description below. First of all, I want to show you the options you have on these three dots on the top right corner. So if you tap there and you click on Smart Stylus, you can select the stylus that you're using. If you have one of these, I'm using the Apple Pencil, so I select that. What that's going to do is that it will, you know, apply the palm rejection so that my hand won't draw on the screen and it will help me use all of the settings available for the Apple Pencil. All right, so the pen tool is this one up here in the middle toolbar tab there. So you can see here a bunch of different colors. I think that some of these were included in the app, but most of them I added them myself. For example, these ones at the top, the top five ones are the ones that match this planner exactly. I will show you in a little bit how you can make your colors match perfectly. And at the bottom here, you have the width of the pen. So you have four options available, as you can see. Let me pick some black color. So if I go to the thinner one, this is what I get. If I go thicker, the lines will start gaining weight. So these are the basic options that you can just tap and then you quickly go to this color and this pen width. But I also want to show you, if you click on custom, you can select the pen width. These are pixels, so if you move this bar to the left or right, you can see how the dot grows. So that's the size of your pen. So I believe that, I don't know this, the exact size of these presets, but I think that the thicker one, you can go a little thicker if you go to custom. As you can see, this is 7.7, .7, and you can go all the way to 10. So let's try that, and it's a little thicker, okay? And at the same time, if you go to the thinner in the presets, it's going to write like this, and I think you can go even thinner if you go if you click on custom. A little bit thinner, there we go. Okay, so just so you know, you have these extra options in custom. So this is good to make the exact pen style that you want for your handwriting, but you might forget what those settings were. So I advise you to either remember, for example, a 5 is easy to remember, don't choose like a 5.4. You might have a harder time remembering that or you can just write it somewhere actually you can make like a pen test on any page of your planner another trick in case you don't know if you have a lot of handwriting and images and a bunch of stuff and you want to get rid of it quickly you can tap on the three dots in the top right corner and select clear page clear page and that's going to get rid of everything you had on the page so that's a quicker way of doing it Another little trick that I want to show you is if you also have, let's say, a big stroke or several strokes and you want to get rid of them a little quicker than, you know, using the eraser, you can still use the eraser, but click on this little settings icon and then toggle the option that says erase entire stroke. And now I just have to touch the stroke with my eraser and it's gonna be gone completely. So that's another fast way of getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Just tap once and it's gonna delete the whole stroke. So as you can see for the eraser, you have three different sizes. Let me show you. Let me change back to this option, which, you know, it might be uncomfortable after a while if you only want to delete a little, let's say you make an A and you just wanna delete this extra bit at the end. If you go to the whole stroke erasing, then you're not going to be able to just fix the little bit. So just keep that in mind and you can change this at any time. So that's nice. So I was going to show you the sizes. You have the small size, you have a medium size, and you have this larger eraser. The larger one is great because if you had a lot of writing on the whole page, it's pretty quick to get rid of it. Just go quickly with your pencil and it's all gone. Going back to the pencil, if you, as you can see, when you click on custom, you have all these other colors that are already loaded into GoodNotes. Okay, so you have more color options. But you can also click on the top right corner here on the three dots and say enter color. 
and then you can use the hex codes of a particular color that you want. For example, the pink color for the pink tab of this planner, the code for that is F4AED4. Click OK. And now when I go out and I write, this is the exact color of this tab. As you can see, there's no difference. So that's nice if you want to match whatever planner, whatever layout that you have. But of course, you need to know the hex code for that particular color. Now, if you want to save those colors like I did right here and have them handy for whenever you want to use them, you will go to the presets. You can see we were at customs, click on presets and then click on edit. You can click on the plus sign and again, you have these extra colors that are already set in good notes or you can enter the hex code again. So I'm just going to repeat that F four A E D four. So now I have this pink saved here. So whenever I want to write, I have a purple color selected and then I want to go back to my pink. It's right here. So that's really cool that you can save the colors that you use most and you can also rearrange them. So to do that, just tap and drag on the color and put it in whatever order you want. The last thing with this pen tool is that you can choose between fountain pen or ball pen. So the ball pen will be the same width throughout the whole stroke. So it doesn't matter how hard I'm pressing on the screen with my pencil the width of the stroke will always be the same. And if I choose the fountain pen, what that's gonna allow me to do is to change the width of the stroke depending on how much pressure I apply on the screen. So for example, if I want to do some like calligraphy, you can do that. I'm pressing harder as I go down and lighter as I go up. So that's nice. I find it kind of hard to do nice strokes in good notes because, you know, it, it looks so shaky. I, it's really hard for me, but I'm getting better at it. And it's nice that you can really start writing some calligraphy. I'm really excited about that. So I want to get better. And this pen setting allows you to do that. If you click on the left side here where you have this square circle and triangle icon, if you have that and your pen selected at the same time, you can make perfect shapes. If I don't have that selected and I want to make a circle, you're going to see it's a little wobbly and not perfect. But if I click on that icon and then I make a circle again, GoodNotes knows that I'm trying to make a circle and it's going to make it perfect. Same for a square or a rectangle or basically any shape you want except that you have to be very sharp when you're turning because I will show you if you are not, then good notes is going to get confused and you might not get the shape that you want. It's going to create something else. But if you're like really clear with your strokes, good notes will help you. So this can be really helpful when you're drawing things or you just want to have like a square, a frame for a word or when you're making lines in general. Or let me show you if you're creating your whole spread and you need, you know, boxes. For example, this could be Monday. And then you can just copy this box. Paste it, and then this is how you would start building your own spread. Then you can select them all three, copy them again, paste them. And now you have six boxes that are exactly the same size and look. One other thing, if you select with the lasso tool, just make a small circle anywhere on that shape. And then if you tap on that circle that you just made and you click on color, you can change the color of this shape or of this stroke that you just made. Same applies to your handwritten text. You can change the color, which is nice. Or even if you had actual text, which what I just did is I tapped and held on the screen and then this menu pop up and then just click on text and you can start writing. Let me make it smaller. 
Same thing, I can select with my lasso tool, tab, select color, and change the color. Select again, you can move it, you can resize. Now with the highlighter tool, you can do the same that you did with the pen. If you tap on it, you will have the presets. You have these colors. You can choose the size. You only have three preset sizes. And you can also click on custom. And then you have more color options. And you also have this slider to choose the width. As you can see, it goes all the way to 40, which is a lot bigger than the biggest uh, pen size which is only 10 and of course the highlighter is transparent that's what's special of it same as with the pen if you tap on the three dots on the top right corner you can enter a specific color using a hex code or you can also enter the thickness so if you prefer for example six you might find that easier to do than to slide all the way into exactly 6.0 up to you and the rest is basically the same. You can choose your colors, presets, or custom, and you can choose your width. The eraser is going to work the same way with the highlighter as it does with the pen. Okay, so that was a little extra more than the pen tool, but I hope you found this helpful. It took me a while to know all of these options. So I hope that this is uh, useful to you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm uploading many videos showing you tips and tricks to using your digital planner. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will try to get back to you as quick as possible. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.